Good morning. It's Saturday in Easter week, April 18th. As we wake up once more to a cold gray day, tensions are running higher than usual after this month of staying at home, and yet we'll be there for a while longer. We read of the number of deaths and the number of new cases each day and think of their families. We read that 22 million people have filed for unemployment in the last month. We wonder when this will end. And it would be oh so easy to drift into a pervading sense of helplessness and withdraw into apathy. But that is not who we are. And that is not who we are called to be. In his 1942 letter, After 10 Years, Dietrich Bonhoeffer wrote that mere, mere waiting and looking on is not Christian behavior. The Christian is called to sympathy and action, not in the first place by his own sufferings, but by the sufferings of his brothers and sisters, for whose sake Christ suffered. We think of the moms, dads, sons, and daughters who work in the hospitals and nursing homes and provide care to the sick and the dying. We think of the people working in Stop and Shop, Kronigs, and Reliable, and other stores on the vineyard. We think of the people who work in our pharmacies, our first responders, who work in the gas stations, and all who are working to keep us functioning and fed. We have things we can do from home. Firstly, we're keeping others and ourselves safe. But we can pray for those who are caring for others by virtue of their work, that they may be safe. We can pray for the sick and the dying, we can have compassion for ourselves and for others. We can smile at the people we love and tell them we love them. We can wash the dishes. We can stretch our bodies. And we can call someone, a friend or a neighbor, to see how they're doing. Or we can call a friend to say how we are. Whatever this day may bring you, may God bless you, and may you continue to be safe.